What's up everyone? 3D Prince 747 here, back again with another video. So I got my AMS yesterday. It took about a week and a half to get here. Um, but I'm real happy with it. I haven't used multicolor yet. I'm just using single color. As you can see, the white is blinking. That means that that's in use right now. This print looks really, really good. What I'm printing is something called a postomatic. And what that's going to do is allow me to take a uh, filament from cardboard spools and uh, move them over to these uh, AMS approved bamboo lab spools. So Adam Savage did a video on this about a month ago and I watched it and I wasn't really into it no big deal whatever but then now that i have the ams it kind of intrigued me and i want to get this done um you can hook your drill up to it and you just move the spool from one to the other um pretty quickly from what i see so i'll test that and i'll show you guys how it turns out um i'll show you the build of the unit um again it's the postomatic i'll put it in the comments section below um, but these prints are looking really really good man these printers are just incredible i mean look how perfect that is i'm going to say that and then this is going to knock the head of the print head off or whatever knock the face of the print head off and end up being screwed for the night because i'm jinxing myself but seriously though in all reality these things are just beasts and I wouldn't hesitate to buy another one or two. I'll probably get a mini um, here in the next couple of months. Um, but what I want to really see is an XL. And from what they're saying, they're like, stay tuned for our flagship model in 2024. So I'm hoping that is an extra large unit where you can print like full helmets, um, for cosplay and that kind of thing. I don't cosplay, but I print the helmets as you've seen. So um, that would be awesome to have, just to have something bigger um, than just the 256 by 256 by 256 um, bed. Um, the plane is going great. Still waiting on some parts. Um, I've got the ESC that arrived today, the 50 amp ESC. Still waiting for the battery and the servos. I do have some servos from when I used to fly, but they're several years old. And I know they're probably fine, but um, they're cheap, so I ordered new ones. They'll be here tomorrow. Um, and then uh, you can print hinges using a raft. And see how that just kind of back one's not in but you can see what i'm doing here like like this is just really cool that's on kyle's uh page the link that i put in the um last video um for printing the hinges and uh yeah so stay tuned um i'll show you how uh this postomatic plastomatic whatever it's called comes together and we'll run through it together and go from there but so far the ams is working like it should and i'm pretty happy with it um i don't know how many of you are using this x touch um controller um i think it was only like 10 or 12 bucks for the touch screen and um to get it all hooked up and everything was super super easy what's nice about it is It's just really nice. This is what should have come on the P1S and P1P instead of this clunky, you know, thing here. But whatever. I mean, we're all good. Um, yeah, so we're all good. Um, sometimes I prefer that, but a lot of times I'll use that. And this looks like it's finishing up soon. So, when I'm putting all this stuff together, I'll show you. We'll uh, get it together, and 
we'll run through a spool or two to see how it works out. Please hit the like button, um, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll check you on the next one. 3D Print 747, I'm out of here.